everybody, how's it going? Jamie Fenn here back yet with another video. Today's topic is how to sharpen your footage in DaVinci Resolve. Now this may be a simple thing to do. You may not know how to do this or you may know how to do it, but there is a specific thing that I like to do when I sharpen my footage and maybe you'll learn something today. And hopefully this will take your videos to the next level and make them look really crispy and sharp. Now, before you jump the gun and start sharpening your footage, you wanna make sure that your footage has not already been sharpened in camera. So therefore, you want to make sure that you go into your camera and turn down the sharpness all the way so it will allow you to have the maximum amount of flexibility in post-production. With that said, if you guys like videos like this and you wanna see more, subscribe if you have not already and hit that notification bell. Like this video if you find it entertaining and useful and also comment down below and let me know what you think. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so here I have a clip that I shot in Hawaii. This is my beautiful friend, Sarah, and I've already done my primary color correction and a little bit of color grading in this compound node. So when I sharpen, I always have it as my last node, except for when I add grain. I typically don't add grain to all my videos, but if I do, grain will be the last thing. But for the most part, I always have sharpening as my last node. So now I'm going to create a new node here. And what I used to do is I would just come into the blur and sharpen icon right here. I would select sharpen and I would drag this down no more than 0.45. GoPros are a little muddy and that's when I would drag down the slider to about 45. But this video clip was shot on a Panasonic GH5 in 4K at 10 bits. So it's pretty clean. And it was also shot with a Sigma R 18 to 35, which is very sharp. So bringing it down to 0.45 really isn't necessary. 0 0.46, 0 0.47 should be a good sharpness level. So when you drag this down, it applies sharpness to the whole image. But now what I do with my current videos is after I drag the slider down to where I like it, I come down here to where it says level and coring softness. And so if you actually look at her hair, this is where this effect will really show. When you turn the level up, it starts to apply sharpness to the edges in the video. So I'm going to pull this down to exaggerate it so you guys can see it through the YouTube compression. But this is at zero, meaning it's sharpening the whole image. And as I bring this up, if you look closely at her hair, you will start to see some artifacts almost, like it's kind of sharpening these edges, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of just like artifacty, And it doesn't look too good. So in order to make it look a little bit smoother, you can come over here to where it says coring softness. And you bring this up and it actually blends the hard edge sharpness so it will look a little bit cleaner. It won't have those artifacts and it will sharpen just the edges. So now we have an image that looks beautiful. The sharpening is really apparent on her hair. If I disable this, you can see how much of a difference it makes. And again, I would never recommend going below 45 or 0.45 here on the slider. And I also typically don't change the horizontal and vertical ratio or the scaling. Now here's one more thing that I'm gonna show you, which is I think very crucial when it comes to sharpening, and that is only sharpening the luminance channel. Now when you apply sharpening, you can see if I zoom in real close, it kind of creates sharpening artifacts in the chroma aspect. And that means it's sharpening the colors as well. But if we only want to sharpen the luminance, which I do now on every one of my videos, I will come over to that sharpening node that we created and made the adjustments on. I will right click on it, come down to color space and select LAB. That is the luminance channel only. So now you can see there are not as many artifacts. Some of this may be a little bit of chroma noise in here. I have not done any noise reduction of any kind for this clip, but now you can see if I go back to the color space of the timeline, it creates a very small difference and attention to detail is very important. Okay, so let's do a quick comparison one more time. Come back down look at the colors in her hair. I'm going to select the luminance. And now you can see there's not as many artifacts and it looks way cleaner and we're only sharpening the luminance of the video, which is what I highly recommend that you do whenever you do sharpen. Check out this playlist linked here. There's a couple color correction tutorials. I also make visual effects tutorials with all types of cool, unique transitions and visual effects. So definitely check that out and I'll catch you my next video.